Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I'm so thankful that you stopped by again today for another Power Sheets series video. We tackled our goals, we went through, and we've done our first tending list. Now we're kind of getting disorganized, so I thought I would show you the flip through of my home base binder. Now, my home base binder, this guy right here in the middle, is my workhorse. It houses so many different things that I need to actually accomplish my goals. Of course, it has some fun stuff like stickers, but it has my postcards and my cards ready to go to send those out to family, friends, and loved ones, including you YouTube subscribers for the month of January. And all throughout the year, I'll be sending a postcard to one of you to encourage you on your own journey. So I will give you more information about that next time. But for today, I'm gonna to show you all about my binder, how I use it, what I use it for, and how you can put yours together. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy. See you later, bye. I love the fact that my home base binder goes in conjunction with my planner. And let me show you what that's all about. Um, this thing in here has all sorts of things, stickers, um, my cards, my goal sheets, everything, even some wildcard page packs. So I grab this, I grab my power sheets, I grab my accessories pouch, and then I'm off and running. Just those three things alone will help me make success out of 2020. So let's talk about what is in this little guy. Of course, this is a mini binder. This is, I'll show you an, um, a, a brand new one. I have another project that I'm going to start work on. So I grabbed another one off of Amazon. It's a one inch mini binder. It is eight and a half by five and a half. And it's kind of tricky to find on Amazon. So I'll leave the link below. Um, and I'm not trying to be shady about it, but you can buy like like bunches of six or 20. And then some of them have like a pouch on the inside with a little circle. It's kind of challenging to find. So um, I will leave the link for that below so you guys can find it easy one inch spine and of course if you want to shop at your local office supply store they have them there as well so this is the economy version just bargain bargain basement i love the fact that it has this little pocket in the front and the back um, and then the spine because this is um, from the sticker book i dismantled my sticker book and put it in here and um, i just cut this um, and put it in the spine and it's really decorative so when it sits on my count my shelf it looks lovely this on the other hand looks a little shady um, I need to restick that one or tie it down somehow to make it not so, so uh, icky looking. But it's been well loved, as you can tell with most of my items. I actually do use them. So on the front cover, I have the um, well, wrapping paper that she sells in her store. I just wanted to jazz up the cover a little bit. And then I have my gold sheet here. It's the gold foil gold sheet. And then I just wrote down my January goals. And of course, the color codes that go with them. And then at the bottom, you can see that I've got my word of the year. And underneath here, as you can see, that says cultivate. And it's just one of the postcards that come from her shop as well, just for a little decoration on the front. And I can take this in and out as I want to. You know, every January, I can move that around, take it out, put a new one in and call it good. All right, let's go ahead and look at the inside. Um, on this front cover and that's what I love about these because they have these little pockets here these clear pockets This houses my everyday lined notebook and I do have it laid out for January through April This is how I am storing all my action items um, I've got a tab for every single one of my goals Along with action items for everything and so I, if you haven't seen this video I will link it up in um, in the corner and down below as well, but it has Really great ideas on how I take these action items and make them work within my goals. This is basically an organized brain dump, for a lack of a better term. It has like my mini goals and phases of timetables, so I get a better idea. And plus, it's so much easier when I'm putting my tending list together. This is part of the sticky note here sticky notepad. Um, I just had one lying around that I use this part but not this part so I just stuck it on the front cover in case I needed some place to jot. And of course this also is just a little decoration of this part right here. I just stuck it in this little pocket, stuck it on top and there you go. So as you come to the front cover here you'll see this um, sticky note. It's called the weekly sticky note and what I've gotten here is a breakdown 
of what nights of the week works best for some of my weekly tending list items. I'll go ahead and show you my tending list items for January. And I have all of these weekly action items. And instead of reinventing the wheel every week when I'm putting my regular master planner together, which houses all of this stuff um, so I can make sure I get things done timely, um, I can just look here. I already know what day of the week works. It's perfect. I have my three major goals that I'll be working on for this year. That's also laid out over here in my power sheets. Um, and then I also have my monthly items here. So at just a quick glance, instead of looking here um, on here, I can always just look right here and see if there's anything that needs to be done for the week when I'm setting up my planner. Um, and then these uh, little protective sheets, I'll also link those down below. They're great to slide stuff in as well. Um, underneath, I forgot to show you, underneath the sticky note is called what I'm having my goal progress. These are those freebie sheets that she has on her website, and I will leave the link for that below. Um, every time I get a goal, I'm going to write it down and then a little star. I want to see the progress visually all of um, the goals that I've made for 2020. So I've got that. And then I was thinking on the back side, hopefully I'll finish up this page and have to stick one in the back side. For now, I just have a piece of scrap gift wrap that I just wanted to fill in for a little color. Then I've got um, another one of these freebie pages. This one is the Faith Fueled Goal Setting. And this is long-term down the road for me. We're, we are potentially moving to a new state. And so what I've done is really thought about, okay, what's something I want to cultivate near the end of the year? Right now it's not a focus, so I don't really want to touch it and put it in my power sheets. But I just want to research a new church um, and make some brainstorming notes on what we're looking for for a new faith family. As well as on the back, I downloaded the... Um, Again, another wild card page pack that's a freebie, and it's just an undated calendar. Um, I'm going to write down the online sermons, which church it was, um, the number of stars I would give it, like one through five, if it was good, and then what verse. And so I want to see a pattern of what churches do it when and what time and that sort of thing. So I'll make note of that there. On this side, I've got one of the wildcard page packs, not the freebie ones, but the actual printed ones that come from her shop. That's what these are. And I just have a perpetual calendar, which I've written all of the birthdays or anniversary, all the cards that need to go out in the mail for me this year. And so I've got that written here and this will work year after year. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. I did attach a notes page to the back side, just in case if I have any new additions or some thoughts on presents and that sort of thing. Um, I also have all of the cards that I need for February because I don't have any January ones. Those are right here, ready to go. All I need to do is fill them out, put them in the mail, and grab some stamps and throw them inside. I really love these magnetic bookmarks. These actually do great on these page protectors to keep it from falling out. See, like if I take this off, they slide out. But when I have them on the top, it really works well to close them up, um, do a great job sticking and holding that stuff so then the, the items don't come out. So that's one of the things. I also have some gift tags in there just in case the sun is coming out. Woohoo! Um, again, those are the ones for February. Here is a called a fun list. Um, this is, again, just one of those wildcard page packs. I don't have anything, ideas for it right now. But on the back side, I just wanted to put the goals at a glance for my first quarter. So I've got those in here as well. Now, I told you earlier that I did dismantle my sticker book. And I'm very thankful I did because it is so much easier to flip through this and find what you're looking for. I do need to move these color-coded dots because I tend to use them quite frequently. I need to move those up front, but you can move them. You can put them in the right one. And when you finish up an entire page, you can get rid of it. I know I need to um, use some more stickers, but I really enjoy these to be in here. Um, I love using the decorative stickers. Um, and so it's Kind of great to just grab one and go and, of course, use some motivational words to help me on my way. 
These in this pocket are Erin Condren functional petite stickers. The petite planner, which looks like this. Um, these are, this is my uh, master planner that I was talking about every day. I have a pocket of these. And what I've done is gone through all of the petite planner stickers that I have, picked out the ones that match um, with the colors. And now I've got blank stickers because none of the stickers that Aaron, um, none of the stickers that Laura has are all blank except the color dots, which you clearly can't write on those. So I thought these would be a great addition to planning, um, at least in the, the January and the February calendars. As you can see, I'm still working on this one, but I do have, um, I'm going to put some stickers in here, jazz it up a little bit. Um, and make it pretty. But I love using stickers um, even on the January Prepare Well page. So that's what these are for. And then I've got my postcards in one of these, again, clear pockets. Um, these are going to go out to customers and YouTube subscribers monthly. Um, and so all I have to do is buy postcard stamps and then write on them and they're good to go. And then I'll make uh, put a, a piece of paper in here, a list of those that I do send them to. Again, these are the rest of the goal pages. There are 12 of them total in the pack. And again, I'm using the magnet clips to keep them in there because it's so easy for them just to, um, you know, stay in there um, with those magnets. So I've got that going on. And then lastly, I turn the page and I've got my next everyday line notebook. This is the May through August. Um, and again, the, I haven't tabbed this out because I haven't figured out my goals, but if um, something does come up, I'm going to go ahead and write it in there um, because I'm thinking longer term. I think when I get closer to May, I'll be able to, to segment this right now. I'm still focused on the other one. And on the back side in this little pocket, I have my organization and decluttering. Um, this is actually one of my action items because of the, again, intended potential move that we've got going on here. So I've broken down the space and then the zones which I had outlined in the Everyday Line Notebook. I just put, for there's four, four zones in Jack's room that need to get done, three in Tyler's room. So every time I get one of those done, I will check those off. And then again, I'll add February and Marches on here as well. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed a flip through. If you are interested, go ahead and look at those links down below. Um, I really enjoy uh, working in my power sheets and isn't this kind of handy? I kind of put this on my bookshelf like that. I put my accessories pouch over my binder and it acts like a closure. So it really is handy and it fits so perfectly on top. It's just wonderful. I mean, it's the same size. They work well together and they, what a handsome pair they all make together. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye. Hey babe, I I love football too. I think my viewers do too. I love football.